So I am putting a plowman's pickle into my February box for cooks and I thought this is the moment to make a plowman's platter which is usually a thing traditionally served at pubs in the UK and probably started out with plowmen and farmers coming in for a good solid cheese and bread and a small beer. I have my husband's beer which is jolly good and of course I have the plowman's pickle um, and my plowmen are basically coming in from the office outside and from the school and we're going to have a lovely, lovely lunch. So let me show you what I've got here for my, for my plowman's lunch. I've got some really good bread, some good seedy traditional cape loaf that I make that I love. I've got some Russian black bread. I don't think the Russians would really recognize it as their black bread because it's got coffee and chocolate and that sort of thing in it. And then I have apple and good cheddar and celery, some eggs, some corned beef, some cucumber, some figs or grapes, and some crunchy radishes. So you want good texture. You want um, a bit of crunch, a bit of something sweet, all sorts of things that are going to really show off the really good cheese. And you want to really not be shy with getting a really, really good cheddar. I find that people are really often quite lazy about doing their own cheese and sometimes your cheese gets pretty messed up. So I actually like to, to just help people along by slicing some cheeses, just slicing a little bit of cheese to give them the idea of this is the way you want your cheese to go, <laughs> rather than them sort of massacring your beautiful block of cheese. So um, I also think it looks a little bit pretty. So there's some, um, some cheddar, we'll actually do some more cheddar. This is what a cheese knife, you, I'm sure you have that lurking somewhere in your drawers, but this is the very thing that you need it for. So some cheese, um, now when I do my, my um, corned beef, I'm actually going to not make it look flat. We don't want to make it look flat and stiff. We want to make it look like it's interesting and saying, come and get some of me to put on your bread. So that you may have some ham, you might have some sausages. That would also be really good. And here I have some, some six minute eggs. Those are really good too. Mm. Mine a little bit messy. Oh, I love an egg. Mm. Some cucumber. Always you want to be thinking about how people are going to be eating, eating the thing. Um, often we just kind of think of aesthetics, but we don't really um, think of how how people are actually going to eat. I've taken to, to roasting my radishes because I love radishes so much. Radishes with butter. That's the other thing about the plowman's pickle, at least plowman's lunch, is that you want, um, you want color obviously, but you need some really good butter as well. Good cold butter um, to go with the cheese and all. Now we'll do some figs. You know, we, our traditional <laughs> South Africans, we like a little bit of sweetness with our cheese, don't we? That's where the figs come in. Now, doing a plowman's platter is a great way to pull out all the pickles and preserves that you have in your fridge and show them off. So here's someone who has too much time on their hands. And they, <laughs> this person has actually made, I have made 
Um, some pickles, mine are slightly curried. I like them very much. Um, and we'll put a few of those out. And have some nice onions as well. I think that will go down very nicely. Now we have some pickles. I have some slap hucked yankees, some um, mustardy onions. I'm going to put a few of those out there because those are also great with cheese. I like buying small red onions um, because I think you get kind of more value out of them and the rings are a little bit smaller so they look a little bit more delicate. Um, I also like buying them long so you get to use the entire um, onion. Cheese and onion, it's a classic. Again, freshness and it's looking delicious. Now everybody Everybody likes a little platter like this um, because it's fresh and it's something that you can assemble yourself and people like bits. We all like little bits um, that we can fashion into some kind of sandwich, some kind of lunch that just suits us perfectly. Um, what have I missed? Oh, a little bit of apple. I think I'm going to cut my apple this way. You could cut wedges. I'm just going to do this just, you know, to make it look a little bit prettier. But you could add whatever you like to this platter. I'm going to do these like that. Now, I, um, I love celery, and I have actually just peeled the sort of rough bits off of the celery to make it really pleasant to eat. How are we looking at? Let's add a little bit more because the plowman might want a little bit more of that. What are we missing? What are we missing? I think we're more or less done now. A little bit of seasoning for the egg. You know, by the time people eat things, they want it to be just perfect. You don't want to have to fiddle too much on anything. You have cheese, you have egg. What else can I season? Maybe the celery a little bit. A little bit of black pepper. And of course, the piece de resistance is this wonderful pickle. Here we go. My pickle has, um, the wonderful thing about this pickle is that it has all kinds of surprises in it. So you get these delicious bites. It's got apple, potato, onion, um, cauliflower, um, balsamic vinegar, um, sugar. It's just a perfect, perfectly delicious thing. I'm just going to do that. And there you go. Now we have our bread. Let me move that over here. Oops. This black bread with butter and cheese. Complete winner. And now the beer. Please, the beer. <laughs> there we go.